All right, so for barbell or row form, um, I see a lot of people talk about, you know, sloppy reps with other people in terms of, you know, they're using too much hitch in their body. For me, if you want to have fun and go a little heavy and you got to hitch a little bit, it's not that big of a deal. In my opinion, I feel like barbell rows plays a great role in kind of how my back has developed over the last couple of years. So um, this is how I kind of pull it. I drive back with my elbows and we ride through it. So, you know, enough talking um, until we get to our heavy sets. Let's put in some work. Nobody gonna stop you, I don't give a fuck. No one's gonna fucking stop you. Become obsessed, become fucking obsessed, guys. Let's do it, let's do it. You know how many times in my life I told myself, Kevin, you're never gonna fucking do something? And I fucking did it. Every single day I went to bed anxious, nervous. Kevin, you're never gonna amount to anything in your life. Every fucking night, over and over and over and over and over again. Until one day I told myself, Kevin, I believe in myself. I believe in you, Kevin. I believe in you. And I believe you guys. Anything you want to fucking do, I swear. I don't want to curse as much as I've been cursing, but man, sometimes that self-belief is so fucking important. <clears throat> Come on! Let's get this fucking pro card. I will get my pro card this fucking year, this fucking show, 18 fucking months. Come on! my two top sets. Um, now we're gonna get into back workout number two, which is gonna be some rows. Right, guys, we're gonna kick off our second workout uh, with some lat pull-ins, lat pull-down, sorry. Um, usually, when I first started lifting, I start with a really, really wide bar, but we do have a mag grip down here, which I love. That's another great part of this gym is they have really good equipment. Um, so I'm going to use a mag grip for this set just because I feel like it's the perfect width of my lats. Um, you're going to see I don't really, I do force the reps, but at the same time, I make sure that I'm contracting, I'm squeezing. I had someone give me, ask me a question the other day saying, you know, I don't feel my back when I'm doing any back movements. And the biggest thing I kind of told them was drive with your elbows, use your arms like hooks. So when you're bringing it in, you're really squeezing and contracting and feeling it and then releasing. The release is a big part too. When you're coming back up, slow and controlled, and let the, let the muscle feel it, right? Um, I went to Texas recently for my last video shoot with the guys, uh, so Blackout Drop was a success, and I do thank all of you guys um, who believe in and support in the drop. We sold out of the main stuff in like 20 minutes, which is, you know, God bless on that. Um, so once again, I do appreciate you guys. 
Um, being down in Texas so much has made me contemplate moving just because everything in New York is so expensive out here. Um, so I won't be able to get anything for a reasonable price. So we might, y'all might see me in Houston or Dallas. I don't know yet, help me decide, but no need for a warm up on this. My back is ready. Uh, we're gonna jump right into our top set number one. Please, come on. That's top set number one. Um, genuinely, genuinely, I do the same weight for the second set, and I try to beat it on reps. Pause. Pause on that shit. <laughs> um, I also promised you guys I was gonna be vlogging more than just the gym scene, so to everyone watching, this whole workout is just gonna be the beginning of the vlog, and then you guys are gonna wake up with me. Pause, unless you're a female. And then we're gonna do like my whole diet and stuff. So that's gonna be very exciting, I guess. Um, I've been very, very busy um, just doing work, I guess, for controlled insanity. And also just figuring out my plans for the competing season. But now that they're in stone, we're gonna compete. 18 weeks, I'm, very, I'm not nervous. I'm very confident in myself, but at the same time, I love having, I love giving my mind something to look forward to. Um, I think it takes away a lot of my anxiety when I can push those negative thoughts away and instead replace them with a new goal. That's usually what kind of makes me feel better. So I'm gonna do my second set here. You guys don't need to see it. And then I'm gonna take you guys to numero tres. All right guys, so for workout number three, I do wanna bring in these dumbbell rows. I love dumbbell rows, one of my favorite back workouts to ever exist. Um, we're gonna do 130 for today, and I'm hoping to increase on these weekly. Uh, there was a gym in Dallas that had 250 pound dumbbells, and I tried them out, and they were fucking heavy, but it was fun, and this is the fun stuff that I love to do. Um, so, even though some of the workouts I don't do are always tailored to bodybuilding, I fucking love this shit. I love lifting heavy. I love coming here, picking up heavy ass weight, putting it fucking down. That's, to me, that's a real gym and this is why this gym to me is like home. Um, you know, I don't gotta worry about being very silent. I could be as loud as possible with how I like to work out. So let's get into our top set here. We're gonna be doing two sets of eight to failure. So as many as I can per side, and then we match it with the other one. Let's fucking rip it. Yeah, boy. 
fucking nasty, man. Guys, for this final back workout, uh, to the homie that clips all those clips and puts them on Instagram for me, don't, don't do this part because we are going to be in a very odd position. Um, we're going to do this on your knees. Let me get, hold on. Make this a little less suspicious. We're gonna get a pad thing, my shirt. We're gonna put it here. We're gonna be on our knee. And I don't know if this is the JPG optimal thing, but it, it feels good. So if I'm doing this wrong, y'all can correct me, but I've tried this so far and I fucking love it. So we're gonna do two working sets, um, each arm individually. I usually put my arm here, I pull it, I squeeze it in, and then I let it stretch me. Well, let's just start. This is the the Oh, That workout looks my fucking lats are on fire. Let's get into some rear delts. Alright, so for my back days, I've taken out um biceps just because to me, whenever I do back and the way I feel after my back workout, it's just not enough for me to put the most effort into my biceps. And I know I could put them first, but then I feel like my back wouldn't get enough. After that, so what I've done is I've created my own arm day individually, uh, which starts off with biceps because to me they're my weakest point. Same with my shoulders, um, and then I added extra bicep volume on another day where I feel like I could give more output towards it. So here we have one of my rear delt flies. So what I do here, let's get on the right weight. Um, I kind of stand here, put my arm, and then I drag it across without bending my elbow, and then I feel it right on my rear delt. So this is going to be. My last workout, this workout, um, two sets, and then we'll get into some posing. And then I do want to show you guys my nutrition kind of plan that I have for myself. I'm not being coached by anyone. I'm going to do this prep on my own. I think I'm capable enough of doing that. And we're going to take this fucking pro card. I'm going to say that a million times, but you got to believe in yourself. You got to fucking believe in yourself. Honestly, there was times where my fucking mom didn't even believe me. My entire family. Um, everyone around me, the closest fucking people to you. You know, usually it'll be those people too, right? They, they see you doing something in your life. And whether it's you're doing it well or whether you're striving for something so big, they see it like a joke. Or they don't, they don't appreciate you as much as they kind of should. Because um, you're trying, right? At the end of the day, if you guys are trying and doing your best at what you're trying to do, don't ever 
Don't ever let anything get in the way of that. I don't care if it's family, friends, your girlfriend, your boyfriend. Don't let anyone get in the way of that. And, you know, I had a conversation with someone earlier and they were saying how, you know, they have this passion that they love and they're fucking great at it and they're good, but other people aren't recognizing it. And I told them, go after it. Be ready to understand that there's a risk that it's going to fail. Be ready to take that risk, but do it. But do it because then you're going to end up regretting yourself. You can't fake your personality forever. So. There's permission and deception is the only felony. You never fuck nobody without telling me. Sunglasses and Advil. Last night was mad real. Sun coming up 5 a.m. I wonder if they got calves still. Think about the girl in all leopard. Who was rubbing the wood like Kiki Shepherd? Two tattoos, one red, no apologies. The other said love is cursed by monogamy. That's something that the pastor don't preach. That's something that a teacher can't teach. When we die, the money we can't keep. But we probably spend it all because the pain ain't cheap. Preach. Human beings in the mind. What's a guy to a non believer? know how many times in my fucking life that someone's told me they said Kevin you're never gonna amount to this and you know how many times I never gave a fuck about any of those but the thing that hurt me the most was I was doing it to myself I like I said every single night I was going to bed I was like Kevin you have this anxious fucking feeling in your heart why because you're never gonna amount to anything everything you're doing right now will not matter everything you're doing now you're gonna end up being a no one you're gonna end up being no one and like, just like your mom told you, your mom said you're never going to amount to anything because you can never fucking finish anything. And that's exactly what I told myself every fucking day. Day in, day out, the same routine, the same lazy schedule, the same mental masturbation saying, Kevin, you're going to do it. Kevin, you'll do it, and then you never fucking do it. And I'm sick and fucking tired of that Kevin. That Kevin is not me. The Kevin you guys meet on my Instagram is the Kevin that I had to create because I wasn't being myself. I wasn't being my fucking self and I needed to create someone that was fucking better than Kevin. I needed to create someone that was going to fucking do the work. And all those years that I've dealt with my depersonalization and I still fucking deal with it to this day where I walk into a fucking room and there's a thousand fucking people supporting me and I'm still there in my own fucking mind, in my own head every single day. I don't know what's fucking happening but I'm there doing it anyways. And the one thing I want to tell you guys is, you can fucking do it. You can fucking do it. I don't care if your mom doesn't believe you, your family doesn't believe you. I fucking believe you. I know you can fucking do it. I love you guys. I swear to fuck. I swear to everything. I love you guys. Sometimes I can't say these things and they're in my fucking head and I want to say them, but I'm saying it now. I love you guys with my entire heart. And I've been in a moment in this world where I didn't want to fucking live anymore. And I'm going to say it straight up. I didn't want to live. I made a video on my TikTok a couple of days ago where I said, today marks four years since that fucking moment. And for once in my life, I was proud of myself. For once in my life, I was saying, Kev, you fucking did something. And, you know, the day of my clothing drop, it was so fucking emotional for me because for my entire life, I never did anything for myself or something for the love of what I wanted to do and when that fucking clothing drop happened and I saw all your support 
I said, I don't give a fuck about the money. I'll put the money into the guys that are fucking doing this for me. My fucking team controls insanity. I love every guy to fucking death, and I'll say it again and again. And I said, Kevin, you made a great fucking video. You made art, you made production, and people loved it. And for once in my life, I felt like I completed something in my life. Every fucking year of my life, I had never felt like I completed anything. In that moment, that day, it was the exact day where four years ago, I didn't want to be here. And I said, Kevin, I'm proud of myself. Let's take this fucking pro card. Let's take this fucking pro card. 18 fucking weeks. Let's go. Alright y'all, so we just got back. I'm at my friend Jacob's house where I don't rest and I just get to work. So right now what I'm going to do is handle some stuff for the clothing brand. I'm going to eat my last meal of the day. And then I'm going to wake up tomorrow. I'm going to show you guys pretty much my entire day of eating on this diet. And also just what I do in a normal ass day of my normal ass life. By the way, pants, y'all seen them. Alright guys, so we just woke up around like 12 30 because we were up till like five yesterday um so we got all our work done for the next drop we found the new spot we found the exact dates we're going to be doing and i have my little sister recording so that's why it's not the best but i just picked it up from school um i didn't have my first meal of the day yet which is actually not the best thing and i'm also trying to drive but um i'm going to show you guys okay this guy's stopping i'm going to show you guys meal number one of the day I did just get Chipotle for everybody, so we're about to eat a little bit. Um, since we just started the diet, the exact food and meals that I'm doing and macros are not as strict just yet. Um, but we do have an hour of cardio that we're doing five times a week. And you guys are going to see how, as it increases week by week. But we're still 18 weeks out and we're feeling pretty lean. Um, so I don't know if you guys follow the Instagram or anything, but yeah, Pamela and I, you can talk and say what's up to the vlog. You're gonna make out the vlog. What up? That's all you have to say? I don't know. Um, you're a vlogger and now you're nervous when the camera's in front of you. Say something. Say what's up. What's up? And How's your day been? Ask them a, a really deep, meaningful question that they need to answer. Uh, ask them a question that they need, that's meaningful. That's gonna have them thinking. Go. Okay, when somebody asks you if you're okay, are you really, really okay? Or are you not? Alright guys, so we are back home and we're about to cook up a meal. We have ground beef. Like always, y'all know the 93.7 lean one. I love it, I love it, I love it. Um, but I'm going to make these next 18 weeks super fucking hard on myself. Um, number one, if you watch this channel just to see gains or body transformation, then... You're in for a lot more because I want to be able to, I want you guys to be able to follow me throughout this kind of 18 week prep and kind of just shift your mindset along with mine um, and the things that I do and the stuff that I practice. Um, I think it's going to be very exciting. I think it's going to be very exciting. So let's cook up this first meal and let's talk a little bit more about what my diet's going to consist of and shit because we have a lot of crazy shit coming up and it's very exciting, but at the same time, it's very nerve wracking. Um, so let's just jump in. You know, I get asked a lot on my Instagram saying, yo, Kev, how do I become sponsored from Control Insanity? Um, like, yo, Kev, I just hit, you know, 100,000 followers on Instagram. You know, can I get a sponsorship? And to me, I don't really give a fuck about, you know, how many followers you have. I want to know what kind of emotion you could bring to the brand. And to me, I guess the biggest factor in me deciding, like, hey, you would be a great part of the team is, you know, the kind of person you are, the emotion you bring out of people, and what you can teach people, right? Um, as you guys know, the whole Instagram, TikTok, and everything, and this YouTube was all, you know, all the lifting stuff, the bodybuilding, was all to bring people together. And that one thing that I think every single person on this world can relate to, which is being able to express your emotions and kind of feel the way other people feel, right? Because sometimes... You'll be speaking to someone and you won't understand their point of view on what they're feeling because you've never felt their emotion and you've never felt what it feels like to be in their shoes. 
And with Controlled Insanity, I want to be able to bring everyone a bit of experience, uh, sorry, a bit of experience from everybody's past, from everybody's feelings that they have to this day. And especially with me, I want to bring you guys the outlook for people who don't have anxiety as bad. I want to give you guys the outlook of what it feels like to have it and what it feels like to use your disadvantages to your advantage. So to me, if you're reaching out for something like that, um, I don't care about your followers. I'll say that a fucking million times. I don't care about your engagement. I care about what emotion can you bring out to the brand. So. Anyways, we just cooked up this big ass batch of ground beef. Anyways, that's there. We got rice cooked up. So we're going to be mixing rice, beef. I got to get on my veggie grind again. But um, the gardener's out of commission at the moment but i don't really wear jewelry by the way guys so look at this thing right here i got it sent to me by gld let me take that in there um but that's that and then this is my controlled insanity one but we're going to be eating one of these meals right now um i guess my macros in a sense are at 2700 calories i'm currently doing one hour of cardio day which is in which isn't the worst um and it's only five times a week so as we progressively go down on this diet cardio will be increasing Food will be decreasing until we get to that, you know, sweet spot of what I can handle and what's going to push me to the limits. Um, so that's this start of the prep. Um, I, I'm very excited to share this journey along with you guys. Um, but recently, y'all know I'm not like a fan of music and shit. Like I don't really be listening to music. Recently, putting these headphones on and just like getting to fucking work, it just feels so good. It's like the music energizes you and puts you in that mood to just fucking work and keep working. Um, I recommend you guys spend two hours a day just dedicating it to a craft that you love and no matter if that craft has an outcome of you know making you money or anything if it makes you happy just do it um, so dedicate two hours to yourself daily for your mental health but we're gonna chow down on this meal let's get to the grubbing like y'all hold up y'all ever listen to a song that's so damn good and you just be in your head like imagining you're in a scene like you're in an edit or you're about to save the world kind of thing. If that's just me, then um, forget I said anything. But I got this song here by Yeet. And I don't really like Yeet, but his last album had a lot of futuristic kind of sounds in it. And I just be thinking about video ideas and music ideas and I just be going crazy. So like this song right here, I don't know if maybe I'll put a song over it. But I just feel like a big man like me can't really get groovy. But I do feel like I'm in an edit. Come here. Sally, I love you. I love you. Okay, so now that we got that little spurt of what the hell that was out of the way. Um, I'm not a guy to get into any beef at all. I don't think I've ever gotten to one issue in the fitness industry just because shit. It, it's exhausting and I don't really care too much about things, but that one thing that kind of pissed me off recently that I feel like I should kind of talk about was that whole cat abuse thing. Um, I'm not gonna name any names or anything because like I said, I don't like getting into drama. Um, but that shit was fucking crazy. Um, that's all I'm gonna say about that because a lot of people ask me about it. Um, it's just fucking crazy. You never know the kind of people that are behind the cameras. That's the one thing. You'll never know. Maybe I could be crazy as fuck. But, um, yeah. That's all I'm going to say about that. But, bam, look. Skitty, we got ground beef in the shits. Avocado in the shits. And one thing that my friends always get on me about is that I don't drink enough. Yeah. The thing about water is I love it. It's At the gym, I'll drink a whole gallon. But outside of the gym, man, I just fucking love Diet Coke, man. Like, sometimes... I'll be eating like, I'm, well, fuck, I'll be drinking them. Seven to eight Diet Cokes a day sometimes, like the little cans. It's a bad addiction, not gonna lie, but um, it's fucking amazing. And it keeps me from eating. Um, but we have this sauce right here, Red Hot Joints. So we're gonna put some of this. Um, and also, guys, I'm gonna get a forearm tattoo. Um, I wanted to do a full arm sleeve, but when you're competing in bodybuilding, you don't wanna cover too much up. So we're only going to do it up to here. So from here all the way down here. 
and then we're gonna cover up this one right here just because I don't like the way it came out. So I'm thinking of getting a thing right here. So I'll let you guys know, and I'll probably take you guys along for that because I did promise to show you guys more of my life, like my outside the gym life, which isn't much. So, um, but we are gonna end the vlog off here. But one thing I wanna do before we do end it off is if you guys can guess the location where we're gonna shoot our next clothing drop, um, then I'm gonna, the drop after that, I'm gonna fly one of you guys out to the next drop. So if you guys can guess the exact location of where we're shooting this drop, um, I will fly one of you out. Uh, once again, I love you guys. And remember, you are nothing without feeling at peace in here. I don't care what you have in your life. If you're not you know, at peace in your mind, then nothing else in this world matters. Um, I love you guys. And what's meant to come to you will come. <laughs>